Hey everyone, uh, sorry I didn't do the music or anything. I'm, j I'm just getting over a cold. My uh, sinuses are starting to come back now, so that's good. Um, I wanted to do this podcast real quick because I have seen so many videos of Onision, and I gotta tell you, I am appalled by this guy. He's not even a man. Onision is not a man. No man treats a woman like that ever. You don't treat people that way. It's unacceptable behavior that he goes on there and manipulates people. He comes off as a person with sociopathic tendencies I mean this guy is a complete narcissist he manipulates his victims and then abuses them he bullies them on his channel all the time and somehow YouTube thinks this is acceptable I think the CEO of YouTube uh, should step down and be fired because she obviously can't do her job right but this is unacceptable behavior I mean listen if anyone talks to my sister like that or my mom or anybody like that well you can paint the picture in your own head <laughs> I'm just saying I'm, I'm joking obviously but I'm just saying like you know I, I don't think anyone's going to take it lightly and no one is going to tolerate that behavior but you cannot do this this poor girl is fucking crying I mean this girl is distraught she is crying and he's abusing her and then he talks to the cops and is manipulative even with them making her seem like she's the crazy one. And you know what's ironic? She said, I'm going to destroy you. And she is. Slowly but surely, she is destroying him. And I'm glad because someone needs to. Because what Greg is doing is very sick and it's so evil this is abuse and I don't know how anyone could support this guy and then he starts like a billion fucking I mean this guy starts like a thousand fucking channels I mean seriously this guy is so fucking insane that he has like a thousand YouTube channels this guy has more YouTube channels than I go through Coca-Cola in one fucking week. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, he owns, like, so many channels. And YouTube still thinks this guy should be able to be on their platform. Even though he's abusing and manipulating people. And now Chris Hansen's on his tail. And the FBI is investigating him. For being a child predator. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. People like him. Should be in jail for what he does. You, you can't. You can't do this stuff to people. I, I'm just so fed up with this Onision guy. Like I, every time I read about him. Every time I see something online about him. It just makes me fucking sick. I mean, this guy is beyond sick in the head. He's not even a man. Because a real man doesn't do this to someone that they love and care about. And I, I can't believe this guy breathes the same oxygen as I do. Because he doesn't even seem human. I just cannot believe that someone goes as far as he does and manipulates people and abuses them physically and emotionally.
and does some serious fucked up stuff. It's just, I, I honestly don't know how Greg sleeps at night. I mean, he's a disgrace. He is like such a manipulative, evil person who definitely needs psychiatric help because what he's doing is evil. slowly get better from a cold but uh no Greg is he is a horrible human being and uh this is not cool at all and uh (coughs) and also I don't know why he wears Like I said in my other podcast, I don't know why he wears a Nirvana shirt when all the stuff that he does, Kurt Cobain would be ashamed of him for doing. Kurt Cobain is against all this stuff. He said that's one of the reasons why he was angry all the time because all the other music was all about, you know, getting laid and discriminating women. And all... Greg does is discriminate women and puts them down I mean Kurt Cobain obviously was a feminist and you're wearing a shirt that represents basically the whole mindset of that band as being very you know accepting towards homosexuals and um femininity and everything in between and then you have Greg having a Nirvana shirt when all he does is abuse his victims I mean it's upsetting that a person like this is constantly posting disturbing videos I mean That banana video is one of the dumbest videos I've ever seen. Thank goodness that I have never heard about this guy until recently. I had no idea who he was. I had no idea that he went viral for one of the most idiotic, dumbest videos I've ever seen. I mean, if you think that is funny, you had to be on drugs. Because that is like the dumbest annoyance video I have ever seen. It's like... It's seriously like annoying. It's like listening to a thousand crows having an orgy. You know what I mean? It's just super annoying. So it's like, I I honestly don't get it. And, uh, no, I'm glad that Chris Hansen's on the case. I'm glad that Onision is going to be brought to justice hopefully soon and maybe by 2020. Maybe he'll get delete off everything. There's already petitions for not only Greg to be taken off. But there's also uh, the CEO of YouTube to be fired. Because she's terrible. I mean, it's so stupid now. Like, in order for me to even make anybody, I have to get to a 1,000 subscribers. But here's the thing. I probably will get demonetized all the time because I'm not going to abide by their stupid rules of not using certain words. Like, you can't even use the word abused, really? 
And then now they're going to have this stupid fucking settings on there where like now you're legally required to tell them if your videos are child friendly or not. It's like, what the hell is happening to YouTube? We don't have a license to broadcast. It's like, do your fucking job. Why do we have to do your job? Why do we have to be the fucking babysitter? This is dumb. YouTube is like horrible now. It's boring. It's not fun anymore. It's starting to suck. Anyway, thanks for listening to my podcast. Uh, Check out theblotv.com and... If you have Prime, there's still time for uh, Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever. So you can go and click on theblogtv.com, click on the Amazon link and buy whatever you do normally and I get a commission of it. So that would be very helpful. Um, So yeah, there'll be a link in the description where you just go to theblogtv.com and click on the Amazon link uh, advertisement. Yeah, I hope everyone has a good Christmas and everything. I just, I'm so appalled by this guy. I don't know what his problem is. I just, the thing that upsets me the most, before, okay, I'm going to get personal here. I'm 31 years old. I have autism. I have depression. And I have anxiety. I've never had a girlfriend. I lost my virginity to sexual assault two years ago. And what bothers me the most is I don't know what it's like to fall in love with someone. And yet you have this piece of shit who has been married twice And basically lures minors and groups them and took one of them who's like transgender and they're like in a relationship and he manipulated her in a way and she or he did the same thing to other people. So this guy can find love and be a horrible person, an evil son of a bitch. Meanwhile, I can never get in a relationship because I'm not a douchebag, horrible, evil, conniving, manipulative, narcissist douchebag. That's what upsets me the most. I would give anything to wake up next to someone. I would give anything to make someone breakfast after an amazing lovemaking. And kissing her everywhere. I would give anything for that. I would give anything to hold hands. And walking around on the beach. And kissing her. Into the sunset. And while the waves crash on the shore. I would give anything to have that. And people like this douche take it for granted. And that's what pisses me off the most. I would never do any of these things that he has done to people. And has not only emotionally abused these people, but physically abused these people as well. And I'm glad that Chris Hansen's on top of this because this is bullshit. How is it possible that an evil son of a bitch like him is able to get married, fall in love, have kids, have a house, and yet be this evil? That's what pisses me off. I'm 31 years old. I've never had a place of my own. (laughs) 
I could never be able to get a girlfriend. I have gone on so many dates the past three years and they never go past the second date because I'm just not good enough for anyone. And that's what I don't understand. It's like, if you have autism, if you have depression, if you have anxiety, and you live with your parents, you get nothing. But if you are a narcissist, if you are abusive, if you are evil, you get a house on the lake, a wife, kids, And fame. That's fucking bullshit. He gets all this. And I get nothing. And I never. Would stoop to that level. Just to have what he has. There's no. Purpose. He has no purpose. Everyone's going to remember him as this scumbag who abuses people. He's never going to be remembered for anything good that he's ever done. And if he ever has done anything good, he's done way too many bad things that's going to overshadow anything he's done good in life. I mean, the content of your character is what's more important than anything. And if everyone knows that you're evil and you're a horrible person, then everyone's going to think that. No one will care about you anymore. I mean, I, I honestly don't get this. Like, this guy has kids... How does he live with himself doing this stuff? How the hell does he wake up in the morning and not be fucking grateful that he has someone and that he has a place of his own and he's made a lot of money? Because all he cares about is himself. He doesn't care about anyone else. And that's why everything is toppling down on top of him, which I'm really happy about. And that's what he gets. And that's his whole legacy. He got lucky from a, one of the most idiotic videos I've ever seen on YouTube. And now there's a chance that he could be convicted of abuse and harassment and being a predator towards underage girls. So I really do hope that he's convicted of these things because he is a very dangerous, evil individual and It bothers me so much that he does this. It's unacceptable. I just watched a woman crying of what he did. And then the cops show up and he's manipulating the entire situation like the sociopath that he is. And that's what disturbs me the most. He has no remorse. He has no empathy. He does not care. And I, his kids shouldn't even be allowed to be around him. And he's screaming. He's doing horrible acting in his own house, pretending that he's homeless, trying to get as much attention as possible. And, uh,
I just, I don't get how someone could be this sick in the head and treat people so horribly. He doesn't deserve the life that he has. He doesn't deserve to have kids. He doesn't deserve to have a house. He doesn't deserve to be married. He doesn't deserve the fame and the recognition that he gets. I mean, if if I ever got this podcast off the ground and it got thousands of subscribers, great. I mean, I'm up to three over 300 subscribers, and I think that's better than anything in the world. That means a lot. And I used to make pretty good money on YouTube before they changed their stupid policies. Now I have to get to 1,000 subscribers now. But that's why I tell people just go on Amazon and buy something and then I get a commission for it. So that way I still make some money, you know, and if you're going to buy something anyway, I get a commission off that referral. So it would help me out. Uh, But yeah, I I just I I don't understand what Greg's issue is, but I I think he needs to get help. Uh, And also. Stop abusing women. You little coward. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Stop abusing women. 